I take it you're Alexandra's friend. Confringo, Bombada! Levioso! Bombada! Confringo! Potato! Accio! Propendo! Capulso! Expelliarmus! Propendo! Confringo! Bombarda! Leviosa! Confringo! Bombarda! Confringo! Potato! Levioso! Accio! Confringo! Bombarda! I feel awful for Alexandra, but the hamlet needed to be saved from that troll. It's done, Alexandra. I took care of him. My troll? What? Oh, I don't know what to say. Thank you. I wish things could have turned out differently for him. There wasn't much he could have done. He was beyond training. Tried to kill me the entire time. Goodness. I'm glad you're all right. You're very brave. People in the hamlet had already crafted a moniker for whoever eventually defeated my... I mean, that... Troll. It was Troll something or other. Slayer? Yes, that was it. I suppose it's your title now. I need some time on my own, but truly, thank you for what you did. The troll Slayer. Has a nice ring to it. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise.
These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? Well, my feet didn't turn into beets. That's a good start. Revelio. Rebellion. Should have known a herbologist would use Devil's Snare. Lumos. A troll? You can't be serious. Confringo, Bombarda. Protego. Levioso. Accio. Confringo. Bombarda. Levioso. Repair. Lumos. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Levioso. Bombarda. Protego. Confringo. Rebellio. <laughs> A sarcophagus. This must be Marmaduke. That should reverse the curse. Hopefully. On 
Marmaduke certainly left behind more than plants. Samantha will be glad to hear that the crest has been returned. I certainly hope it reverses the curse. Levioso! Professor Howen will never believe this. I'm happy to tell you that I returned the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus just as you asked. I thought as much. I received word from St. Mungo's that my brother's feet are back to normal. No more beats. Oh, I cannot thank you enough. It wasn't too much trouble, I hope. Just a measly old troll. Nothing significant. A troll? Oh dear, I'm so sorry. That's awful. No one has been in that tomb for centuries. But I can't say I'm surprised. Marmaduke seems to have been full of surprises. Indeed he was. Well, I suppose I should be going. I'm anxious to see my brother, who must be elated to have his feet back. Of course. I certainly would be. William and I are forever in your debt. Thank you again for what you did. Wouldn't be surprised if Professor did. If someone gets struck by a cursed broom, we do have to do. Revelio. Revelio.
I can't see this being much good Please. to a half-blood. What about you? What do you think? Please, just give it back! Why are you doing this? It's cruel. Please! Incendio! You. Oh, no, 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 no! It's black! He's My coming. book! Now look what My you've done! My poor book! He's nearly here! Uh, hello, headmaster. <laughs> Glacius. Well? They took my book, sir. I wasn't talking to you. to you. Sir, I can't I'm very sorry, Headmaster. Put my reputation at risk Never with again. your infantile antics. He's a half-blood, sir. Pardon me, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. We only had two bells to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow who spoiled things. Was it what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So, I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of sorts, Adelaide and Evangeline. Addie and Evie. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck, unable to tell which bell goes where. Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower just above the music room. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. I imagine the bells are just inside in the bell tower. We have a special night. It's tormenting Professor Black. Revelio. Revelio. Ah, the bells must be upstairs. Alohomora. Wingardium Leviosa. Ah, found them. One up, one to go. That wasn't too hard. Evangeline should be pleased about this, even if Black isn't.
one. Lumos. Good thing Professor Weasley takes her role seriously, since Black clearly has no interest in him. How much longer do you think about this? and 42 staircases. The bells are back up, Evangeline. Oh, you're a credit to the school. I can't wait to hear them. I can't wait for the headmaster to hear them. I wish I could see his face. Future generations may not truly appreciate what you've done, but I do. And I hope that you do as well. I don't know how much this means for me and for Hogwarts. Honestly, I can't believe you won all three trials against the Melt. Exciting news to share.
Why did I never learn how to swim? Going for a swim? Goodness, no. Though I'm beginning to think I really should learn how to swim. Can't very well be liaison to the mer people if I don't know how to swim. You're a liaison to the mer people? Well, not technically, no. At least not yet. The position doesn't actually exist at the moment, but I have a plan to change that. I'm Nerida, by the way. Nerida Roberts. We didn't officially meet, but we dueled in the Cross Swans Club. Yes, of course. Good to see you again. And you. You seem quite interested in mer people. I am. And they're as misunderstood and disregarded by wizard kind as goblins and centaurs are. I feel that if goblins and centaurs have liaison officers at the ministry, then the mer people should have one too. I'm impressed. I think reaching out to the mer people is a grand idea. You do? Oh, thank you. Of course, I haven't exactly done anything just yet. I presented them with a gift a few weeks ago, and they wanted to leave me one as well, in one of their caves. Reciprocity and an offer to visit. I tried telling them I couldn't swim, but I'm afraid that bit got lost in translation. Mermish really is tricky. Well, I can swim and could help you if you'd like. You'd really do that? Oh, thank you! Thank you, thank you! The last thing I want is for them to think I shunned their gift. Diplomacy is a delicate dance. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can dive down to their cave from just there in the water. I can't wait to hear about what you find. Revelio. One day soon, I'll see for myself. I just know it. Levioso. Confringo. Bombarda. Revelio. Look at this place. Did the Mer people really leave Nurida an artifact? Confringo! Confringo! Loop. Now then, I'll need you to come with me. Now for the rest of you. Narada will be happy about this. Your gift from the Mer people was exactly where they said it would be. Oh, that's wonderful news! I was so worried I'd left it too long and they'd seen it as a slight. Our relationship with them is already so tenuous. Then I'm glad we helped to foster some healthy diplomatic relations. Merlin's beard. It's marvellous. I'm going to show it to everyone, including the Ministry. Should I hand deliver it or send by owl? Thank you again so much. You may have just helped improve relations between wizard kind and mer people for decades to come. 
I can't wait to study this. There was a time when I could... Do you really think you can... That crate of Chinese chomping cabbages is somewhere in this camp. Confringo! Protego! You don't stand a chance! You're that hipper. Huh? Careful. Confringo. Oh, yeah. What? Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Protego. That's one crate in hand. I only need one more. Alohomora. Revelio. Revelio. Confringo. Bombarda. Repairer.
Seems a pleasant enough little place. Revelio. I can see why Feldcroft needs help. Ranrock's loyalists are hiding out near them. They must have the to try to get this What is that That's all the crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. I'd better go and see Mr. Thistlewood's friend in Feldcroft. Special delivery from my dear friend, Eddie. Hello, Mr. Ndi. Eddie Thistlewood sent me. Yes, he told me to expect you. Do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages? I have them right here. Marvellous. This will go a long way towards protecting the hamlet from Ranrock's loyalists. The same foul curs who, I'm willing to guess, intercepted them in the first place, along with Rookwood's lot. Feldcroft owes a debt of gratitude to you and Eddie. Thank you for your help. Do you have any idea why the goblins are attacking Feldcroft? No clue. I used to think it was because of its strategic location, but now it's as if they were looking for something. I will admit, however, that I don't know what they could possibly be looking for. How do you and Eddie know each other? We met at Hogwarts. Been friends and business associates ever since. I wasn't surprised to get his owl about his Chinese chomping cabbage scheme. He was always one to go out of his way to help another. What do you have for sale? At last, some reinforcements. Hopefully this is enough to thwart the goblins. Now, if you like what you bought, be sure to come in and see me again. Have I mentioned you're welcome to stop by any time? Alohomora. Mine now, demi guys. <laughs> <laughs> 